best week ever. Best week ever. Come see what's old. Hi, I'm Camilla. And I'm Kay. And we are the, the Fi Resellers. Resellers. Thank you for choosing to watch this video. This is our weekly what sold video. So here we're going to go over all of our sales from the past week. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to give you our numbers. So, you know, what, how many items have sold and how much they sold for and how much we actually make. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to show you some community bolos. So that's when mm -hmm. we feature other sellers and their top sales from the week. So stay tuned because we have got a great video. This was our best week ever. Yep. Ever. Yeah. So let's get into it. So we've got a really good one for you to start off with. Six items in a bundle for $80 on Poshmark. First was this red floral dress by Shoreline. Next was this match point piece. It was a linen top. Next we had this body drama robe. And then we've also got this Levi's flannel button up. We got this soft surrounding tie dye kimono. We love soft surroundings, by the way. Mm -hmm. Next, we have this Babo black sweatshirt. And then lastly, in this bundle, we have this floral 90s sleeveless dress by Ann Taylor. So all of those things, pretty good bundled up. A lot of it, you know, would have been smaller dollar items. So we're glad to have gotten rid of them. Yeah, and the person, when I saw that this person was making the bundle, I was so excited because it was all these items that we've had for a really long time, mm -hmm. didn't think we're gonna sell. And so I was like, yes, 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 yes. And she's building the bundle. And so finally, you know, decided on the price and it was just a great sale. Okay, so next we sold this Legend of Zelda book. We sold that for $25.88 on eBay. It was a strategy guide for this game and it was still shrink wrapped. Um, mm. which was really nice. So that was a really good sale on that. And that came from our honeymoon haul. Yeah. So check that out up there. We will link that. That one came from the hard goods haul. That one was really fun to do. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot of great sales from that haul in this video. Yeah. So stay tuned. Next, we sold this green strap Olukai sandals. These were pretty cool. $23.55 on eBay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we like selling Olukai. Sandals, they seem to sell pretty well for us. And this is our second or third pair to sell. Mm -hmm. Second, I think. Probably. So, yeah. We would recommend picking those up because they tend to be a fast flip. Yeah, we're not sure if it's second or third, but they sell fast. And I think at, at this point, sell fast and for us, 100% sell the rate, but very yeah. small sample size. <laughs> so take that for what it's worth. Okay, so with the next one and a lot of the other $20 or less items, we're just going to breeze through them. So we sold this Zara Home Women's Lounge Pants for $12.95 on eBay. Mm -hmm. And then comes this Simply Shabby Chic Comforter quilt thing that we sold on Poshmark for $100. We picked this up at the bins a while ago and mm -hmm. haven't, it's just been in our death pile for a while. And so yeah. earlier in the week, so um, at the end of, April, we listed all of our quilts. So we had like one day and we took pictures of all of our quilts and comforters, all the things that were in our death pile or we picked up on our honeymoon. And so this week we sold all of them pretty yeah. much. So um, this one was a good sale, but you have to be really careful on Poshmark because if it's over five pounds and this comforter was, it was about seven pounds, right? Mm -hmm. You have to pay more on the shipping. Yeah. And it's really expensive when you have to size up on Poshmark. So we yep. had to pay um, $13.50 and then I had given a shipping discount um, because this was an offer to a liker. Yeah. So our shipping cost for this was $15.96. So I kept that in mind as people were sending, I had a couple of people send me offers and they were just too low. Like I wouldn't have made any money after the fees and adding the shipping and then you know, this is kind of heavy so at the bins you know if it's seven pounds that's like fourteen dollars right. you know so you have to be really careful with that on Poshmark especially we love quilts and comforters like these so simply shabby yeah. chic is a very good brand 
Yeah, so Simply Shabby Chic is a good brand. Shabby Chic is a better brand Ooh. than that. So Simply Shabby Chic is like the lower line of Shabby Chic. So if you see those out um, while you're thrifting, those are good things to pick up. Yeah, we hope to create a video for you soon about quilts and things like that. And if you find any cool quilts and you uh, sell them, yeah, uh, so tag we can us, see them. Do, do hashtag don't sleep on quilts. <laughs> so hopefully you find some really cool quilts and you sell them because they can go for a lot of good money. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we sold this KitchenAid mixer for $60 on Facebook Marketplace. So this one was pretty fun too. We picked this up and listed it on Facebook Marketplace for a while, and we had it listed up a lot higher than mm -hmm. 60. And then we were like, well, maybe we should list it on eBay. We listed it on eBay. We got an offer, someone offered us $60, and we were like, I don't know, should we take it? Da, da, da. You know, yeah. you know, all that back and forth, like, hmm, you know. We didn't want to have to worry about the shipping on eBay. Yeah. So yeah. we figured Facebook Marketplace, they can come, we can let them test it out. They'll see that it's working. Mm -hmm. It just removes all the complications of shipping, possibly getting broken, and us having to go through all the hassle of you know doing FedEx or UPS. Yeah. Because we mainly do USPS, so right. it is what it is. And the time value of us, you know, packing it perfectly and making sure it's all right and getting the right box, it's all complicated. So we we're yeah. like. We just took it down from eBay and we're yeah. like, we'll just lower the price on Facebook Marketplace. Yep. It's fine. And we're happy with $60. Mm -hmm. We got it at the bin. So there and you no go. fees. So, mm -hmm. you know, cash in hand. We love that. Yeah. Next, we sold this flower strap clogs by Dansko mm -hmm. for $31.55 on eBay. Mm -hmm. Dansko is a really good shoe brand to look out for. And I think especially the, like these clog style ones versus like the nursing um, style ones sell pretty well because you know lots of people wear them you can wear them out so they are more desirable mm. these next three items were pretty low dollar mm -hmm. first was this green blue embroidered dress by J. Joe that only sold for ten dollars on eBay yeah and that had a stain on it which mm. is why it sold so well and then we sold this lot of DMX CDs rest in peace 1788 on eBay and then this Talbot's Women's Eyelet Hem Blouse for $18.80 on eBay. Mm -hmm. But then came this really, really cool sale. Mm -hmm. This Dancing Ladies quilt that you probably saw on our haul that we mm -hmm. mentioned earlier with the hard goods. $144.70 the buyer was mm -hmm. all in on mm -hmm. eBay. So we had it listed for $150. And someone came in and offered $125. And they said, you know, I'm sorry that I'm offering so low, but I love this quilt, you know. And so I said, okay, well, I had been sending out offers for 125, mm -hmm. so I accepted it. And this person was so excited to get this quilt. And I mean, you, if you look at the, the haul, it is such a beautiful quilt. Like I've never seen something like this. I just picked it up because I just thought it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, you know. It, really well made in mm. perfect condition you know then they left the sweetest feedback they were like this seller is the best like sets the standard highly recommend you know like yeah. i don't know it just felt so good it was good. such mm. a good sale yeah yeah hashtag don't sleep on quilts <laughs> yeah. okay so we sold this not so great item it was this white and blue boho top from elan for 15 dollars on ebay mm -hmm. then we sold this henderson wetsuit Oh man, this one was good. Mm -hmm. Global shipping program really mm -hmm. came through on this one for $137.80. Yeah, that was a great sale. Also because it was just kind of rolled up in the back of our closet, <laughs> yeah. taking out space. Because like, it was so big and bulky because it's like, you know, thick mm -hmm. material that it wasn't like we were gonna hang it, it would break our hangers. Right. <laughs> and it wasn't like we were gonna like put it in our little cubes because it would take up a whole cube by itself. So we just right. had it on the floor of our closet. So it was nice to get it sold. Yep. And then this next one, our best sale ever. Best sale ever. We're trying to really be mindful of, you know, higher dollar items. And this one is our best sale ever. Mm -hmm. Now you'll have to be the judge on how we do the accounting on this because it was part of that haul. Again, 
that hard goods haul for our honeymoon, mm -hmm. it averages out to be $2.18 per item, but right. we paid up for it, $115 or so, and mm -hmm. it sold for a $364.10 on eBay. And that was what I was hoping to get, 350 mm -hmm. some odd dollars, yeah. and it happened. Mm -hmm. So we were so excited about that. So let us know how you would do the accounting on that. For mm -hmm. this honeymoon haul, we just averaged it all, all out. Right. If we did the $2.18 per item, we profited $315.11. Yeah, so let us know how you would account for that because with the honeymoon, we had so many items that it just made more sense for us to just divide it out by how many items we had so that you know we could kind of make things average but it did inflate that profit price so mm -hmm. you have to take that again like king said with a grain of salt because you know we did pay up for that item but it got that amount got distributed across i think it was like 292 almost, items yeah, you know so items, yeah. yeah so keep that in mind if you want to see one of our best sales ever you'll have to look at our very first video oh, yeah where we sold this Build-A-Bear lemur. Get ready for some cringe-worthy video uh, action. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That one was a great video for us to start off with because mm -hmm. it was so fun to feature that lemur. It, yeah. it was great. So take a look at that video. Let us know how you like it. But moving on, we sold these Athleta green pants for twenty-five seventy on eBay. We love selling Athleta and these were just some almost hiking pants but could be almost like slacks kind of somewhere between there mm -hmm. and we had those for about two months so mm -hmm. next these two items were low dollar items free people waffle knit thermal for 15.85 on ebay mm -hmm. and this rei co-op thaw vintage turquoise activewear fleece pants by <laughs> rei for 18.90 on ebay and those had um some staining or like we might have like kind of burnt them in the dryer. Or, or it could have been like there that. before. We're really yeah, not sure. Yeah, we're really not sure. But it had like, you know, fleece when it gets like too hot, too hot. It kind of like congeals mm -hmm. sort of. It was like that somewhere, yeah. which we took pictures of, disclosed yeah. all of that. So. Well, this is anyway. Otherwise, we probably could have gotten $25 for it. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, we love selling Bionics. Mm -hmm. We sold these red flip flops for thirty eight forty five on eBay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these apparently were the Kelby style. And someone had actually messaged me and asked, um, I have red ones, but I'm looking for navy blue ones. Do you have them? They don't make these anymore. So I was like, hmm, they don't make these anymore. So I will definitely be on the lookout for this style of bionics in the future, which I guess are the flip flops and then they have the little buckle on them. Mm -hmm. So that's the Kelby style, but bionic, what I love about them is they always have the style name just written like on the strap or wherever they have the size. I love that because you can just look up, you get, you know, exact comps pretty much. So it makes it super easy to list. Yeah. Next is a very special sale where we sold these Ugg slippers to one of our viewers, Glamma. Thank you so much for purchasing from us, yeah. Glamma. We really appreciate that. She is such a great supporter of mm -hmm. our community and of our YouTube. So thank yeah. you so much, Glamma. We uh, sold that for $15 for her to her and they had a bit of a flaw. So we definitely made sure to give her a good price. Mm -hmm. Next, we sold this Stussy hat for $25.55 on eBay. Mm -hmm. And that was the listed price um, and sold within a day. So that was a great sale. Next, we sold these Asics Joe Challenger sneakers for $36 on eBay. Mm -hmm. And this is an example of someone, so we had been messaging back and forth with the buyer a little bit because when we listed it, we had missed the picture of the bottom of the shoes, which you don't know when you're listing shoes, that's like the most important picture mm -hmm. because it shows the amount of wear, mm -hmm. especially for running shoes. And so we put that up and then they sent us an, he sent us an offer of, we had them listed for $36 plus shipping. And he sent us an offer of $36, but in the note had written, include shipping, please include shipping in this final total. And so you can do that on eBay. You just have to go in 
and before you accept their offer, but before they pay, you go into um, awaiting payments and you click send invoice and you can add a discount. Mm -hmm. So that's something that you can um, look into. That way you don't have to go back and be like, oh, you know, I'll offer you whatever the amount minus. It just gets much more complicated than just sending the invoice. Yeah, so hot tip for you. Yeah. Next was a really hot sale. Yeah. Bionic good. loafers. We love selling Bionics. Y'all, come on, <laughs> let's go. $45 on Poshmark. Yeah, it was great. Full price sale, just bought them outright. We love that. These were, I guess, Bionic, these loafers, they were the Chill La Run loafers. They were apparently, you know, more expensive, mm. new than the sandals. So love that. Next, these on cloud sneakers. The first time we found on cloud, and we'll show you in that hall right up mm. there of all of our shoes from our honeymoon hall, but we sold that pretty quickly for $35 on Poshmark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and these were not in such great condition. Mm -hmm. Like they didn't have any insoles in them, which apparently is not that big of a deal to right. runners. But then they also had like all sorts of Scuffing. Kind of mm -hmm. Scuffing and staining on yeah. the fabric. And it was kind of cut uh, just a little bit on, mm -hmm. on the front part. So yeah, even with all those flaws, it sold. $35, right. we'll take it. Yeah. Last of this week was this dress that was a leopard print by Don Joy for $27.95 on eBay. And this was an 80s glory dress. Yeah. Like it was just so 80s, mm -hmm. just so funky. So happy with that price, happy to have it out of our house. We've had that for a really long time, listed it, you know, at the beginning of 2021. So happy to have it gone. Nice. Yeah. So those are all of our sales. We're really happy with this week. Insane sales for us. Mm -hmm. We're doing this part time and I hope that you think so too. We feel like we're doing better. Mm -hmm. So that's, sure. that's a really good motivator for us that, that we're mm -hmm. trying to keep climbing up on mm -hmm. these sales. So why don't we go through our numbers? So in the past week we sold 31 items and we had a gross sales of $1,338.26. Mm -hmm. The cost of goods for those 31 items was $60.02. Or about $160, depending on how you do that camera. Right, exactly. <laughs> so anyway, we'll just this say This is 60. just with it, within our own, the mm -hmm. way that we have our spreadsheet, the way that we're doing accounting, mm -hmm. which is that we divided it evenly between all of the items from our honeymoon. Yeah. So let's just say $60.02 for for right. all of that. But we do want to be transparent about that camera. I yeah. mean, otherwise it would have been a much higher cost of good. Right. And then our net for the week was $953.55. Wow. Wow. So even if you took 100 off to say to for the camera, that's still $853, which is pretty much double what we did the week before. Yeah. And like all the weeks <laughs> were that yeah. like we have been kind of averaging closer to between 300 and 500. Mm -hmm. So this is huge. Yeah. This is a huge jump for us. And so we're really excited to have such a great week. It doesn't mean that every week is going to be like this because we don't have anything that's listed for $350 right. right now. But it just means that we are on our way to, you know, growing each week that number and hopefully having more weeks like this and um, having it not be such like a rare occurrence for right, us. So. Right. So hopefully you enjoyed those sales. This was such a fun What's Old video. Yeah. We had so many great sales. All right. It's time for community bolos. All right. So the first community bolo comes from Yard Sales and Dreams, our good friend, Danielle. Mm -hmm. She sent us this really great sale, mm -hmm. Peruvian Connection, which I think in the reseller community is pretty well known. It's this designer art to wear piece and it is made with alpaca blend. Mm -hmm. And so that's generally a very, very well known thing mm -hmm. uh, that the material for alpaca from alpaca is very well sought after and so i think that for the picking community 
if you feel the material, you'll know that it's different, right? Mm -hmm. And then you just take a look at the tag and make sure that, you know, you do the comp on it. So don't be afraid to get into clothing if you're not a regular like us mm -hmm. with clothing, but you'll feel that it's different. Mm -hmm. And this piece was just so amazing. Mm -hmm. She sold it for $200. Wow. wow. So that's just crazy. And so she said that she doesn't exactly remember what the cost of it was, but we'll link the video where she got it. Mm -hmm. She got this amazing, just crazy haul of stuff where she spent $800. Wow. That's so so much. <laughs> she got so much stuff. So you know that she's got dollars into this thing and she's probably made a ton of money from this haul. So we'll link that below as well. Mm -hmm. And we've just got so many great things to say about Danielle. So first of all, she is a great supporter of us, but we found her very early in our journey and she's just been so good to us. And she's very active in the reselling community too. Mm -hmm. So make sure to check her out, tell her we sent you. But overall, mm -hmm. we just love Danielle so much. We hope that you really like her too because she's great on Instagram and on YouTube. But, you know, make sure you watch her videos. She is just so much fun. So our next community bolo comes from one of our really good friends, Veronica, who is also a YouTuber. And she started her channel a little bit before ours. And so she has a lot of really great videos. And she sent us this Lejavi, Lejavi, but Lejava? <laughs> I'm not really sure how to say it. Uh, Neiman Marcus, it's from Neiman Marcus, but it's this hot pink floral caftan. And it sold for $76. She said she spent um, about four or five dollars on it. Wow. wow, that's great. So I think because it was kind of a vintage style and that caftan style, it sold really well. And I think this brand is really good too. Mm -hmm even though we don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> but if you are looking for how to pronounce things, Veronica has just started a series on her channel for how to pronounce German, Austrian, and Swiss brands because mm. she is German herself, so she knows exactly how to pronounce that, mm. those uh, you know, brands and all that. So she's just started a series on that. So go check out those videos if you want to see more confident in your YouTube videos and don't have to look like dweebs like us. <laughs> so. Yeah, so don't take it from us on how to pronounce these things. You know by now <laughs> that we're just terrible at pronouncing yeah. these things. And we just love Veronica's channel overall. She does a lot of thrift hauls and what sold videos. So if you like our content, you would definitely like her channel and she just is so fun she tells a lot of stories and so she is a great person to follow and has always been so supportive of us so please just check her out on instagram and on youtube um, and give her a follow or a subscribe mm -hmm. so that was all of our community bolos for this week just two but two really good ones mm -hmm. so if you ever want to send us something please please feel free it mm -hmm doesn't cost you anything or not you know charging anybody anything to, yeah. to be on our small youtube channel <laughs> but we really love this community and we want to feature the things mm -hmm. that you're finding the things that you're selling that we can speak about you know mm -hmm. alpaca stuff things that are made in paris that you know mm -hmm. have funky names that we can't pronounce yeah. overall we really want to hear from you and just feature you because we think that this community is just so great and yeah. that's about it yeah, so if you made it this far in this video, give it a thumbs up, a like, and make sure that you're subscribed to our channel. Hit that bell notification if you want to hear from us about more hauls, like our honeymoon haul. Mm -hmm. We'll be releasing new videos for that and what sold videos. And leave a comment down below of what your best sale was from the week or what your favorite of the ones that we featured. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thank you so much for watching. Again, we really appreciate you all. Keep that passion burning. We are rooting for you guys. We'll see you later. Bye.